In recent years, one area that has grown in popularity is the patterning and texturing of wood-turned work. Robert Sorby were involved in co-developing one of the first commercially available tools dedicated to patterning and texturing. This flexible and versatile tool can be used to create a wide range of patterns and texture effects on both spindle and bowl work. This tool is supplied with a texturing cutter. This comprises a wheel, accurately made from top quality tool steel, which has a bearing recessed into its centre. This means that the wheel, once placed against the rotating work, is free to spin. By altering the angle that the tool is held at, a wide range of different effects can be created. Here the cutter is being held with the teeth of the wheel vertical to the rotating work. The tool rest is just below the centre height of the work, allowing us to trail the tool slightly downwards to provide a safe method of working. We are holding the cutter vertically and by moving the tool from side to side create a stipple or orange peel effect. On this occasion the tool is held with a small degree of tilt to the cutter so it is held at around a 20 degree angle. This degree of tilt is not critical but the more the tool is opened out the heavier and more aggressive the cut becomes and this is worth bearing in mind if using a softer species of wood. As well as creating a wide range of textures to the exterior of bowl work the tool can be used to enhance platters either by texturing the rim or by creating a rosette feature in the centre. A micro skew chisel is used to create V cuts to define the start and end of the texture area. This tool can be expanded by purchasing optional cutters that can be added on to this tool. Whilst these cutters are also used for spiralling work, which we'll be looking at a little later, they all work well as texturing cutters. With each additional cutter, the size of the cutting tip and the space between them varies. This can be a useful tool to augment end grain work and in many instances can offer an alternative choice to a chatter tool. All of these effects were created using the texturing tool and just two optional cutters. As with the chatter tool, consider altering the wood around the textured area to create a highlight area. Consider making use of stains and coloured waxes to further enhance work.